This is a review of the Hightower Armory 9022. It takes a Ruger 1022 and puts it inside a P90 style stock. I got the tan version because I am a big fan of tan and flat dark earth. So just highlight some key features. You can see uh, there's no magazine. And the gun is empty right now. I'm going to take the safety off so I can show you some things. So there's two safeties. You get this uh, cross bolt safety extension so that the original receiver safety from the Ruger uh, will actually still function and then like on a P90 you actually have your little safety selector switch down here which blocks the trigger from moving back but interestingly they have sort of a Glock style uh, trigger safety so even though the the safety is off and ready to fire if I don't push on that trigger safety the whole assembly cannot move back this has to be pushed and then the whole thing can move back there's a little bit of play but I intend to get a bushing nylon bushing from like Home Depot or something to take up that that gap but other than that it's great so that's how the HTA 9022 functions uh, you have these barrel spacers for your standard profile Ruger 1022 barrel and there's a plastic shroud that goes over and hides the stock barrel. Unfortunately, mine is like a 20 inch barrel. Uh, I measured it to be like 19 something, but it's probably a 20 inch barrel. I got it used, so I don't really know the full length of this barrel, but I measured out 19 something. So it's definitely an inch longer than it needs to be. And it sticks out of the end of this mock suppressor. Uh, the suppressor, mock suppressor is just a big sleeve made of plastic. I was hoping for metal, um, but not that big a deal. Oh yeah, um, I did a little modification right here. Uh, you can see the backs of the threaded plates for an MOE rail. I installed a rail on the left side uh, just to make it easier for a, fl uh, a scout light uh, to be activated by my thumb so I don't have to use a pigtail switch. I have my Airsoft P90. Uh, this is like 10 years old. I've had it for over a decade now. Uh, Tokyo Marui uh, P90TR. And you see that the rail systems, the triple rail, only has this one lobe, one slot Picatinny rail. But the PS90 and the new P90s, from what I've seen online in the pictures, have gone to a multiple slot. One, two, three, four, five slot Picatinny rail. Much better design. This is too limiting. Um, but anyways, the HTA Hightower Armory uh, P90.2 uh, doesn't use the P90 style Mac. It has this ammo box that it comes with that looks like a P90 magazine. As you can see, they're, they're kind of similar. Now, you'll see I put 22 LR bullets inside here, but that doesn't mean that this is a magazine. This is just a box to hold ammo in it. It doesn't actually feed the gun. So it just goes in like a normal P90 mag and just makes it look cool. Some people have asked if the HTA 90 hard doing this with one hand. 
There we go. If the HTA 9022 can use P90 magazines just for looks, and actually it can't. This, these lobes here are too tall. It won't go in any further. I have removed this lobe and the channel, you can sort of see, let me line these up. The channel is not as wide as the HTA 9022. So even if this channel is not there, the, the height thickness um, is, is impeding it. Even with this removed to make it a little bit shorter in height, it still doesn't fit. So completely incompatible. Now, to feed it, the magazines go into here. I have an extended mag release that I've installed to make it easier. Uh, I have this. This is a Butler Creek 10 round mag. Uh, so it just goes in, click, and that's it. Doesn't stick out that much, but just enough. That helps me to take the mag out. There we go. Normally, you want to use these, the 25 rounders. So, the Ruger one. Yep, there we go. So there's the Ruger on the HTA 9022. And this is a tactical, tactical ink mag. And that works too. I've put a root normal Ruger 1022 rotary mag and it works it's just it's a little bit hard to get out so it just dropped out so they're a little bit recessed I think maybe a little Claw like thing would be nice. Or not claw, but like an extension tail. Just to make it a little bit easier to get out.